So the business planning tool is a standalone version, uh, is a standalone tool, is a light version of a software called Ultimate Business Planner, which is about a hundred bucks. And it's included with QuickBooks Premier Accountant and Enterprise, not with Pro. And it takes data from QuickBooks. It can project income and expenses. And on top of that, it gives you a tool to build a business plan. Okay. Um, so that's actually kind of interesting. So I'm going to go into company. Then I'm going to go into planning and budgeting. And then I'm going to click on use business plan tool. Okay. So when it first loads up, uh, you got a couple of tabs here. You got the welcome tab that kind of just explains to you what it is. Uh, then on the company tab, and then you can click on next and you can actually walk through um, you know, some financial projections. So for example, on the income tab, we can click here where it says um, income projection wizard. Okay, so there's a little button there that says income projection wizard. And then once I click on that, I click on next. And it tells me, when would you like to start planning? So we're going to say, well, January of next year. And then I hit next. Then it says, do you want to manually enter the numbers? Do you want to compute an average from the last 12 months? Or would you like to use 12 months worth of history? Of course, you can choose whatever you want there. And then hit next. And then you can say, yeah, I'm expecting about a 3% growth or whatever, or 15% growth. Right? So you can pick uh, whatever you want there and then hit next. And then it tells you which accounts would you like to project that income to. So if you happen to have multiple income accounts, that would be there. And then I hit next and then finish. And then you're gonna see the average of last year be uh, included into your income projection with that annual growth, okay? So then we're gonna hit next. And you see a lot of these tools have a lot of things in common. Then we get all my expense categories. And then I can click on my expenses projection wizard. And same thing, it goes to the same motions. It says, when would you like to start projecting expenses? I'll select next year. And then would you like to use the average monthly, the history, or do it manually? I'm just going to do the average monthly. Hit next. Do the same growth. Choose which accounts I want to project. So if I don't want to project contributions or taxes or whatever, I can exclude them from the projection. Then I can hit next and finish. And now you see basically my projected financial statements. And this goes all the way to five years. So that's actually a pretty neat thing. So we can do five years worth of projections with this tool. Then I'm going to click on next. Then it tells you, all right, we're about to go through an interview process in which we're going to ask you more details about certain assumptions about the business. So it, it basically is asking you, are these balances on the balance sheet okay? Can we use these as starting balances or do you want to modify them? So at that point, you can modify them if you want to project any different balances that the ones that are here. Again, these are all based on QuickBooks data. Then it says, uh, is there a minimum bank balance that you need to have every month in order for you to maintain your cash flow? So again, you can put $25,000 and that becomes useful for that. Then you can say, yes, I have inventory. No, I don't. You can uh, calculate some depreciation. So this is where you can manually put in some depreciation. QuickBooks doesn't have a built-in depreciation tool that it can assume what depreciation is. So you can just put whatever you want there. So we hit next. And then it will ask you a couple of questions. And you go through the motions. You go through all the questions. And then once you finish, it will actually build a um, financial projection for you that then you can insert in your business plan. So I just went through the whole process here. Now, when I go to reports, I, I can do a couple of things. So I can do my profit and loss report. And what you're going to see here is five years worth of financial statements projected, again, based on a combination of things, history, uh, assumptions, all those things. So I can have pro projected financial statements in here, which I can Summarize also per year. So in this case, when I click on summary, it broke it down per year instead of by month. You can obviously um, export it into Excel and then manipulate it even further, or you can uh, print it into PDF or print it uh, in your printer. So let me go ahead and close that. And then we got a couple of interesting here things here. We can have some graphs. So we can do, for example, a break-even analysis. 
And, you know, based on, you know, we didn't put any cost of goods sold information there. So that's why we don't, we don't get that intersecting line. But if I had done that, then you would get that, um, that break even analysis there. So it's a couple of interesting little tools there. I recommend that you kind of go through them. Uh, the cash summary is also really important. Uh, that lets you know if you have, if you're going to run, uh, down in cash, uh, anytime soon based on your projection. So I was pretty aggressive with my sales projections. So it looks like. I'm always going to have cash. Okay. So those are like just sort of the quick reports and quick graphs you get. Now onto the business plan portion, which is really the powerful piece of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click next. You're going to see here on the left side, have a couple of categories and you're going to get basically a default set of categories in which every business plan should have. You know, we're going to have an executive summary. We're going to have, you know, so these are just, Places for you to type, right? So none of the work is going to be done for you. All the stuff here are boxes for you to type, but it does guide you to the process, okay? But in, in any of these, you can insert a graph. So for example, if I'm doing uh, something in my financial assumptions, I can actually uh, insert a graph or a table here, and I can do it based on those previous projections that we made. So remember when we actually created those projections, we can actually insert them here. And this just lets you know that when you uh, are looking at the, uh, at the uh, business plan printed, that chart will print in there. So that's the purpose of projecting the income is so you can insert those financial statements uh, so, you can, uh, so you can project them as part of your uh, business plan. Now, if you go to the help menu and click on learn about an upgrade, now I'm not um, telling you to upgrade or anything like that. I'm just telling you to click that so it takes you straight into the website and then you click on sample plans. You can actually download any of the sample plans here. And that becomes uh, like a really nice cheat sheet to have along with it. Cause you'll print out an entire business plan that is based on the business planning tool. And then you kind of get a breakdown of the verbiage that is being used on each of these categories. So as you're building, you have this next to you, as you're building the business plan, you, you kind of have an example next to it of what normally people put there. Uh, you can see the explanation up here at the top that tells you, you know, what you should have there and also an example verbiage in there as well. So on top of having a sample plan and, and that next to it, that's all uh, there to be used. So when you're finished, you basically print out an entire business plan and you can take QuickBooks data to project with it.